Hello and welcome to this episode of Have You Seen? Today is a very special one. She has changed into an old man. He hasn't seen his dad in a really long time. No, it's only been since Thanksgiving, but it feels like forever. Oh! Four weeks. It's Father's Day and I have brought the father. Your father hasn't met the new Evolve Dusty. Today we are doing his favourite films. Mm. So, what is your favourite five movies? Oh. Um, okay, yeah. something your favourite film of all time. Uh, oh, of all time. If there was no more films yeah. apart from one, I would probably have to say, um, yeah, y Monsieur Hulot's Holiday. Right. That. For anyone at home, ah, yeah, they've got me we'll there. never have heard of this. But if you want to watch a British slash American version of it, Mr. Bean's Holiday is a slapstick what? movie. It is a slapstick movie. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Bean goes on holiday. But this one is the original, let's say, yeah. and has lovely music that you've had on your yeah. your ring, ringtone, ringtone for the last yeah. 30 years. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So that would be your favourite film of all time? I would say so, yeah. Right. Next. Uh, second film uh, would have to... Well, it, I've got a choice of two for the second one. Can okay. I say them both? Would there be two and three? Yes, yeah. two and three. Two and All three. right. Uh, it's either The Great Escape right. or The Magnificent Seven. Oh, okay. I see what you... Yeah. Kind of hard choice. So, okay. yeah, it is. Um, so why do you like The uh, Great Escape so much? Um, do you mind your Christmas? Hold on to yourself, Bartlett. You're 20 feet short. What do you mean, 20 feet short? You're 20 feet short of the woods. The hole is right here in the open. The guard is between us and the lights. It's uh, always on at Christmas? Uh, no, uh, no, no, no. The, the, all these good films are always on at Christmas anyway. But uh, it's what, 60, 1960, something like that, when I used to go to the cinema far more often than I do now. And uh, it was it had everything, um, apart from the obvious, escapism. Um, it's all the good stars, uh, good uh, technology, film-wise, good oh. music. Yeah. By the way, everyone knows the Great Escape theme tune. Yep. Uh, even England, especially the even England fans, big cricket players yeah, yeah. and cricketers. Uh, and um, it's got a good ending, and it's a true story. Yes. By Paul Brickhill, if I recall. Yeah. yeah. He wrote the book. And so, the Magnificent Seven. Have you seen the original uh, Seven Samurai? Yes, I have. And do you think this is a better version because it's in colour or because you didn't have to read? Because obviously it's well, subtitled. funny you say that. I've I've um I've seen them both. Obviously, mm. I I think I prefer the Magnificent Seven. A, it's in English, and uh, Seven Samurai is black and white and Japanese. There won't be any trouble if you ride on. Ride on. I'm going into the hills for the winter. Where am I going to get the food for my men? I had not grow it. Or maybe even work for it. Seven. Somehow I don't think you've solved my problem. Solving your problems isn't our line. We deal in lead, friend. And it's very worn, even with new technology. You know, it's hard to see everything. And it's a lot longer film, as I recall. Yeah, I think it's about three hours long. Yeah. 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 But, but having said that, a damn good film, yeah. Okay, so number four. But I've only top. seen it on the telly, by the way. Oh, never seen it in my Right, number four in your top favourite number movie. Number four. Um, well, again, for me, um, it's going back to probably the old days. Mm -hmm. And I've sadly forgotten the name of the film. The name of the film. So number four is We Don't Know. Yet. Until I get total recall. Give me a. Give me a oh, total. So no, no, no. I'm joking. No. Um, uh, you know, for the life of me, I can't. What happens in the movie? Uh, no, no, it's not that. I can't remember the film. Never mind the name of it. You don't uh, know what happens in the film? No. I can't think of the film. I did have one and it's totally gone, but then I've got an excuse. Because you're old. Old. Yeah. old. Yeah. Yes, right. In the comment section down below, guess his age. Yeah. <laughs> It is older than you think. A man who never wants no trouble. Number five. I'll tell you what they're gonna. This is gonna be. It, where it could, again, it could be a choice of. Okay. Um, again, my age. Mm. I'm bound to. But I like watching uh, when I get time. Um, old black and white films, and a recent one. 
Um, because if, if you look on, um, what's it called? Uh, the picture show, not the picture show, the picture house. No, no, something picture. Doesn't matter. Uh, and they, and it's based in Watford, and uh, they show all these old, mainly black black and white films. And a few weeks ago, up came uh, films of my favourite actress of that era, right? Whose name is Margaret Rutherford. I've heard of her. Ah, right. Well, that's good. But and, I don't know what films she's in. Well, uh, they keep repeating um, about three films. Yeah. Um, so. A choice of any of those, uh, they're not madly good films. So, it's... any of Margaret Rutherford's films is oh. your top one of your films in your top five, yeah, yeah. And the, and the best one, of course, is Blythe Spirit. Never heard of it. Uh, Noel Coward, I think, wrote the, the play and they turned it into a film with famous names. Uh, and it's it's terrific. And she's she goes around on a bike with a cape flying at the back. And if you see any of her other films, she's always. F- on a bike with the cape flying, you know. Um, she was Miss Marple in. in oh yeah, in yeah, films. I've heard of Miss Marple. And yeah, that. well, that, she. Yes. I think she must be the original one. So the three films I'm thinking of, whose names escape me, um, uh, she's playing Miss Marple. So any one of those. The but, Adventures of Miss Marple. Yeah. Pitched on his head and puffed full of lead, was dangerous Dan McGrew, while the man from the creeks lay clutched. To the breast of the lady that's known as Lou. That what I was going to say about the, yeah, the, what I was going to say about uh, Blythe Spirit is that she's uh, it only got a well, you would call it a cameo role these days. She's not on the screen for very long, um, and because she was so good in it, uh, that's how she became quite famous for these other films. And sadly. Uh, she departed these shores far too early, really. She was only about 83, if that. Uh, but the funny thing about it is uh, in all her films, she always stipulated that she had to have her husband, whose name was Stinger, Slinger, Stringer. 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 Mm-hmm. And it wasn't even Stringer Rutherford, but it, it was Stringer. And he always had to have a bit part, walk on part, that sort of thing. And again, all nostalgia, love it. And then when you've finished seeing it, you go back to work. Go back to work. Everybody yeah. happy. So you've given more than five films have, in yeah. the top five, yeah. which is fair enough. Are there any modern films that you really enjoy? I'm talking not just black and white. I'm yeah. talking like since I and the other person that used to live in your house <laughs> have been alive. My other son. What films have they or I inspired you or made you enjoy watching well there's i mean there's many a poster behind you. yes well i can't turn around and look because my neck hurts but uh, the obvious one is and it is one of my favorites is is um with all the creatures and with all uh, the creatures yeah you know the one bugs bugs aliens a- aliens tell me more about it uh well it's it's wonderful because it's um uh, it's uh, it, it set in the future, shall we say, America. Da, da, da. Could it be Starship Troopers? It could well be. It's definitely Starship Troopers. It definitely is Starship Troopers. And uh, I think at the time it was a low-budget film from what I've read and heard from my younger son. And uh, But it had to, all the makings of uh, a damn good film. Sir, I don't understand. Who needs a knife in a nuke fight anyway? Certain films have a cult following. They aren't very popular in at the cinema. But they get more people buy them, more people enjoy them. Yeah. So, and Kevin Smith films for one. Even if even if uh, people that are critics and say, "Oh yes, we know all about films," and they say, "Oh, it's rubbish," but if, if enough people actually like it, then it becomes a cult film. Cult following. What do they know? What do they know? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Any other modern films that you enjoyed? Yep, Shawshank Redemption. Okay, can't yeah. beat that. Uh, it's good. Um, Good old comedy, that one. Well, I wouldn't say comedy, but it's a, uh, it's a uh, pulls at the strings of your heart, oh, yeah. you know, and it all turns out right in the end, basically. In a way, yeah. in a way. Well, no, definitely. No, certain characters are killed. Yeah, they get their comeuppance. But it's a oh, set, yeah, set in the prison, you know.
Do you know who wrote it? Uh, no, I don't. Would you like to know? Yes. Stephen King wrote The Shawshank she did, Redemption. Yes. It's yes. actually called Rita Hayworth and The Shawshank Redemption. Really? That's what it's called. The book. The, well, the short novel. It's part of his um, Different Seasons collection. I, just, I thought it was Rackle Welsh. It's Rita Hayworth and The Shawshank Redemption. The poster in the movie is Rackle Welsh yeah, at that's one what point. I'm thinking of, yeah. But in the the book is actually called that. Yeah, so yeah, the Different Seasons has the body, which is the movie Stand by Me, as well, which he wrote. Apt, yeah. apt pupil. How do you know all these things? It's movie related. Oh. <laughs> it entertains me. Really? Yeah. So apt pupil, the movie apt pupil, which I think has Ethan Hawke in it. I'm not sure when he was younger, maybe. And Stand by Me, or Stand by Me with Keith Sutherland, and Will Wheaton, and the late great River Phoenix, whose brother is Joaquin Phoenix, who yeah. won the Oscar for the Joker yeah. a few years back. Here's some interesting facts about Stephen King films or books that became films, which is connected to. The Shawshank Redemption that you said yeah. you enjoyed. Yeah. Any other films from the early 90s that you like? Oh, God. 90s. Um, that's pushing it, isn't it? Any films that you've seen recently that you enjoy? I sat down and watched. Um, did you enjoy the Marvel films that I made you watch? Oh, gosh, yes. You did? I, I can't remember the names, but yeah, that. that it's annoying, really, because uh, I, I, whenever you mention these things, why don't you watch these, Dad? And I went, no, 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 rubbish. And when I sat down and watched it, they weren't rubbish. They were really good, especially that um, little fella. Stop tapping. The little fella that played, um, and he went to prison for some reason. Would it be uh, Robert Downey Jr.? That's the one. Right, it's yeah, and he played Charlie Chaplin, which he yeah, was Oscar Charlie nominated Chaplin, yeah, for yeah, in indeed, Chaplin. Indeed. He played Iron Man. Yeah, and that was a cracking film. And obviously, spoilers, in Avengers Endgame, Iron Man sadly dies. Uh, oh, yeah, he goes up in a puff of smoke, as I recall. No. No? Not at all. Am I thinking of something else? You're thinking of another bit. Oh, He's right. got the glove on, and he does the snap. And I... And he doesn't disappear, he just dies. Oh, dies. But that's a, you're thinking of the <coughs> prequel to that, which is Infinity War, where they all turn into dust. Yes, that's Yeah, so that's, that's yeah. The, the dusting, and then the yeah. end game is when they all come back. And mm. so. Spoilers. On your left. So that has been your Father's Day list of Father's Day films. You, my father likes. I'm wondering how many times I can say Father's Day. Because it's Father's Day. Yeah. This video should go out on Father's Day. If not, it was Father's Day the other day. This is my father, and he told you his films you should watch. As but best he could. As, as, best best he's, he's as best he's good. So, until next time, when she will be back. Not And she is good. She is good. She'll be back, uh, and we'll probably be doing a review on Transformers, or even... Indiana Jones or Mission Impossible. So, or Margaret Rutherford. Well, Margaret Rutherford films, you never know. So, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss these episodes because it's fun. Do you subscribe? Absolutely. He hasn't got a clue how to use YouTube, so he probably doesn't. But anyhow, till next time, we'll see you later. See you later. I thought my.